Jim Richardson is a photographer for National Geographic, as well as a contributing editor of Traveler magazine. Richardson's work with National Geographic has led him to travel all around the world taking photos. While he travels around the world, Richardson has his gallery, Small World, located in his native state, Kansas. Jim Richardson uses his work in National Geographic to assist him as he tries to tell the world the story of the hard-hitting issues that most people tend to ignore. One of the first images I discovered of Richardson's was from one of his archived collections. This image, titled Boy and Puppies, stood out to me because of the symmetry Richardson was able to capture. The boy in the middle of the image is holding two puppies, while there are two grown dogs walking on either side of the boy. Because Richardson chose to shoot this image from a head-on perspective, the viewer is drawn directly to the boy and the puppies that he is holding. On a different level, Richardson has captured the idea of man's best friend because he is showing how the two older dogs trust this boy with their new puppies. Tall Grass is a photo gallery for a National Geographic article that Richardson shot in the Flint Hills of Kansas. The Flint Hills is the last great expanse of tall grass in the U.S. and Richardson uses his camera to capture life on these tall grass prairies. This first image, Fire Ritual, exhibits the fires that sweep the Flint Hills. Richardson's use of the background control in this image allows the viewer to see how the smoke from these fires has cast a fog on the rest of the image, dulling the sun that is trying to shine through in the background. The use of negative space also benefits this image because the fire in the forefront catches the viewer's attention but leaves them wondering the purpose and cause of the fires. This next image is from the same collection. After the storm is an image that uses the rule of thirds. Having the horses in the bottom right corner, viewers are left to draw their own conclusions as to where the horses are going or where they are coming from. The use of complementary colors in the sunset also highlights the image and the beauty that follows from the large amounts of rain that this area of Kansas get every year. Vintage Kansas is another collection of Richardson's that stood out to me. He has chosen to take all black and white pictures of, the, of different areas of Kansas in this collection. This photo of Ralph Frazier was one of the first taken by Richardson that focused on the lives of people in Kansas. After taking this photograph, Richardson was inspired to continue shooting images around Kansas and showcase his native state. This image is taken at a low perspective, which allows the viewer to feel as though this man holds the object above him in a certain way that is powerful and meaningful. Another image that stood out to me from the Vintage Kansas collection was this photo, Abandoned House. I think Richardson's use of negative space in this image causes the viewer to focus on the old barn in the center of the image. This image is also taken from a head-on viewpoint, which allows the viewer to be drawn directly to the barn initially when they look at the image. All the images from this collection are showcased in black and white which I believe was a decision that Richardson made because he wanted viewers to be solely focused on the image and the message he was trying to convey. He did not want people to be more concerned with the different colors in the background. I chose Jim Richardson for this project because I believe he takes photographs of landscapes and transforms them. One interesting fact that I found while researching was a quote that Richardson made. He states, rely more on legwork, less on Photoshop. Richardson believes that taking photos from an angle that most would not think of or be able to see is what makes images stand out and mean something.